All right, hello gardening friends. Um, I'm out here in the garden and tell me how many of you can relate. First of all, here come all the dogs. Um, but I'll be like, I'm just gonna go do a little bit in the garden and then I'm like, I have got to share this. And I've been staying off of Instagram just to save time because I just get stuck on there and post too many things on there. So I'm um, working on that. Um, so here I am with my real camera out here. I gotta show you this compost. I show you this puppy getting so big. Huh, good sit. What's up, did you get scratched? Anyways, all right, so the composting in ground method is working really well. I'm loving it. The dogs can't get in there and I found a worm. So let's go check it out. All right, and it's also this amazing hour moments before the kids get home from school that I'm like what can I do to like get my zen back before they're all here so this is it so check it out I made a new one and all I did was dig a little hole and I have this roof tin hold on let me focus so I have this piece of roof tin it's not even in a circle I just bent it that way it's a little sharp so this isn't ideal but this is what I had and this is this is how I do things so I also found a worm when I was digging the hole so I made sure to put the worm back in here there it is and I'll show you what I noticed with my other one was that there wasn't enough layering so I'm gonna give some hay down in there and then I've got my bag coffee grinds eggshells food scraps mostly all it is vegetable scraps fruit scraps eggshells and coffee grinds and before I was taking my shovel when it was a little wider I had it a little wider last time and I could kind of crunch things up once they got in there but I can still do that with my little shovel so anyway I would do that and then there's another worm I'm just gonna throw a little bit of dirt with those microorganisms and then I want to start doing a layer of the hay on the top which I was doing just to keep the flies off, but then I was removing it and putting another batch, but it needs better layering, so there's that. I prefer to use hay rather than leaves because it decomposes a little faster. Here's the, I had coffee, can you tell? <laughs> I need to relax. That's why I'm in the garden. So here is this mustard green, which I think that's what it is because that's what it looks like. And I've grown them before and then I don't like mustard greens, so I haven't had the seeds for years, but here he is. It might be a broccoli rob because I haven't grown those, so I don't know what they look like. But anyway, everything else out here suffered from the frost really bad. Those ones over there might produce, and I'll show them to you. But a lot of these through here were too small still. So it is what it is. So really quick, this is because this is supposed to be about compost. This is where the other one was, and I just took it off, and I have gloves on, so ew. there are some ants in there. But I did, let's see if you can see. I did dig down and just kind of see, and that's when I noticed that it was all pretty wet, because it's a lot of wet stuff. So I'm gonna try to do better with getting some layering in there for airflow. It'll just take longer, it won't, it's nothing bad. It'll just take longer to decompose without those layers of air but the worms don't care if it's a big thick pile over here I finally have some kale that I threw down quite a while ago and over here I threw in some cilantro and that's finally coming up so hopefully we'll get some of that the kale is still monstrous I've been harvesting from the middle Garlic is looking awesome. Got it pretty well mulched, but I'll continue to mulch it. My walking onions that came back. So here's the ones I think might produce. This is broccoli. So as long as it doesn't go into an early bolting because of the frost. But, those look like they're strong enough. Other than that, got some kale hanging on out here. Not a heavy producer, so 
It's just hanging out. And then the rest of this is actually available, so that's nice. I'll keep mulching and then I'll have lots of available space. Strawberries hanging out. I did come through here with like this choppy blade thing. Um, it's a really cool little tool. I'll show it to you. But I'm just kind of, you can stand up. It's like a golf club. You can stand up and chop and just kind of laid all this down. So I'll get another layer on that. This is just waiting. Everything is just waiting. So this is actually great. These are those okra stems that I left in the ground. They have nice root system. So that'll eventually die off and just break right off. But we're just gonna leave it there for now, along with, these are all the okra plants that I cut down. I just laid them down. Pretty rough frost damage on these. I hope this video has been clear. I'm shooting from the hip out here. This one might do something. But still quite a bit of damage. Hey, give me my glove! Hey! Oh man. That glove is gone. How sad, because if I chase her, she'll just run. Here is this week's coffee grinds. Sometimes when we're really busy, my husband doesn't have time to go dump it in the bucket. So, let's see, where should these go? I usually like to just scatter it everywhere. Um, so it's not just all in one spot. The last time I got some, it went to the blueberries and the blackberries. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but that's nice. Blueberries especially love it. Okay, I don't know if I'm in focus. Okay, so um, I'm just going to spread this stuff everywhere. I did get some leaves um, from my little, I call it my money tree right here. It drops these beautiful little leaves, and I put those on the garden. Most of the time when I get leaves, I like to run them over with the mower first to kind of start the breakdown process. But um, these I just rake right on and I do it every year. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get rid of the rest of this lovely, lovely stuff. I'm so thankful. Organic coffee equals organic fertilizer for me. So hopefully my garden won't get too acidic, but I'm really not worried about it. I think the worms will take care of it. The coffee grinds help give the worms, you know, something to help them digest. So, yeah, that's what I know. Um, there's that dog with my glove. Hey, give me my glove. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this is in focus. And uh, happy gardening. See you next time. Bye. Give it to me. Hey. Hey, come here. You want some of this? Let's try this. You want some of this? Look, I got a potato. Look, I got a potato. You want a potato? Potato. You want a potato? Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Potato's good. You want it? <laughs> got it. Yes. She got a potato. Is it good? That's a rotten potato. <laughs> uh huh. All right, so this is the tool. It's sharp at the bottom, but it's like a golf club. And if you have a, whoop, if you have a brushy area, just kind of, there's like a raspberry, blackberry over here. But yeah, you can just kind of whack. This is a bad area to show, but you whack side to side. You can really take care of some of those, just the top, just to, to lay it down. You're not going to get the root, you know, but works pretty good. Watch out! Watch your ankles! <laughs> <laughs> this dog is the reason my yard is a mess. Yes, you. <sighs> so after about five years working on this space, 
I should throw in a clip of the tiny little five by three space. Um, I'll, I'll throw in a clip. but it makes me happy to know how big this garden is and then it's finally fenced and it's fenced that in a way that's totally me <laughs> because at one point we went and got some bamboo down the road and my husband built a fence out of bamboo in his zen garden and then it fell down <laughs> but I've used these bamboo poles for everything they're little dividers in the garden of like walk here um, you know so you can see that but now I'm like haphazardly adding them to the border of this cheap little fence this is like you know just little th I don't know what is this two foot fence um, but the dogs don't go in and if they do they're gonna get in trouble but that's really helpful don't have cats or dogs actually the cat can still jump in but it really helps they're not running through the garden and then so I'd like to have this bamboo kind of go around to just make it look better and anyways, ramblings of a gardener. So I use zip ties for a lot of it, but and I have, I'll show my, um, I'll hook my video where I kind of showed how I did this with scrap wood. What I found is really useful is, um, actually this isn't the kind of wire I thought it was. This is an old solar light, but it's the same idea. It's wire, and I hooked the two bamboos together with wire. Um, but yeah, I also have some um, bonsai wire that I use, and that's really good because the zip ties are plastic, so I'd prefer to use wire, but um, the zip ties work pretty good too if you get the long ones. And um, here's just a stick that's giving that opposing energy here. <laughs> and the stick is just stuck in the fence. So my favorite thing in the world is to do what I can with what I have. So, yep, getting there slowly. I don't know how many square feet this garden is now. So I'm really not sure how many square feet this garden is now. Um, but it's a lot. It's a lot bigger than it was when it started with just a rug, so. I think it's plenty for a home garden and I love that it's right in my front yard, basically. So that's why I try to keep it looking as neat as possible, even though it's as free as possible and natural as possible. <laughs> Charlie's like, what happened? <laughs> 